Dear chess lovers, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to show you a very good chess game which is played by Steins and Lasker. Both Steins and Lasker are world champions. This game is happened on 1896. This game, Steins played with white pieces, Lasker played with black pieces. Steins start with d4, Lasker replies with d5, then c4, e6, knight c3, knight f6, bishop f4, bishop e7, after e3, here c5 is a strong move, but Lasker castles the king. Then Steins played pawn to c5, then knight e4, knight takes e4, d takes e4, after queen c2, there is a e4 pawn under attack. Now Lasker defended the pawn with e f5, then bishop c4. Here, if you note, the c4 bishop is controlling full diagonal. Queen is sitting in a strong square. Lasker played knight c6. Idea behind this move is knight b4. Steins played a3 to protect it. Then bishop f6. Castles queen side. King h8. After f3. Lasker played queen e7 which is good move. Then Steins reply bishop to g3. Here Lasker played one more good move which is pawn f4, sacrificing his pawn on f4. But Steins did not accept this sacrifice. Queen takes e4. After f takes g3, h takes g3, there is a checkmate threat on h7. Now pawn g6. Queen takes g6, bishop d7, f4. Here, Lasker played rook f7, which is a mistake move. After this mistake, white's attack is massive. Pawn to g4, rook g7, then queen h6, which is a good move. Rook takes g4, bishop d3, there is a threat on h7. In this game, Lasker played rook to g7. Instead of rook g7, if rook h4, then rook takes h4, bishop takes h4, knight f3, bishop f2, Rook to h1, after bishop takes e3, king b1, and now the h7 pressure is too much. For this reason, Lasker did not play rook h4. He played rook to g7, knight f3, queen f7. Here, white start to push the another pawn to g4. Rook a to g8, g5, bishop d8, then rook h2, which is a strong move. Stains try to develop his last piece, rook d to h1. Now rook g6. Here Stains did not take the rook. He played one more good move, which is queen h5. Again, Lasker played rook g6 to g7. Now rook dh1. Here, Lasker exchanged the queens. Queen takes h5. Rook takes h5. Now there is a checkmate threat on h7. To avoid this checkmate, black has to remove the rook from g8. Lasker played rook f8. 
after rook takes h7 rook takes h7 rook takes h7 now there is a double attack after king moves Stains regained his piece which he was sacrificed on g3. Rook takes g7. After rook f7, Stains played bishop c4. Here, Lasker resigned the game because if rook takes d7, then bishop takes e6 check. After rook f7, pawn g6. White is three pawns up, which is equal to the minor piece. Black has no hope. Such a strong game between two world champions. I hope you all enjoy the game. If anybody want to analyze any game, please mention in comment. I will post soon. Please support me with like, subscribe and share. Thank you.